Take a look at what they've done out here. This gas station has pulled all of their plus and premium hoses because we showed them this pump jump problem. Our pump jump investigation found at all of the gas stations where we noticed this glitch. And it charged us 31 cents and the gas never even went. It's already at a dollar 40. All of the problematic pumps dispensed premium fuel. That's why management at this Sentry station told us after our investigation, they decided to uninstall their plus and premium hoses. We found pumps jumping here twice. So it charged us 14 cents. It just charged us five cents. Wow, this is after we called the company on this. Parker Oil sent us a statement saying, quote, it would seem that jumping would not occur if the premium hoses were used more often to keep the cutoff valve seals lubricated. We chose to remove the premium and mid-grade hoses at this site to protect our customers from a sporadic problem of our industry caused by a little used fuel. I'm not seeing a decline uh, in the high test or, or the, uh, the mid-grade. But Stan Rasiborski of Ward's Corner Shell says, people are still filling up with premium. He admits if one of the pumps does need repair, it can be very costly, especially with a low profit margin. With the gas prices now, if you make a couple cents per gallon, you're, you're lucky. Another reason why the owners of this station pulled plus and premium saying this site only sold about 40 gallons a week of it. Despite the problems with the premium and plus hoses, Parker Oil tells me that they did not find the problem in their regular unleaded hoses, and we didn't either. In Norfolk, David Ham, 13 News.